are involved in OANA program, um, coming from high school and having to be involved post high school has really helped me, kind of helped the girl child because I know what it's like to be a girl teenager in South Africa. Jambam runs programs um, and workshop which talks about menstrual health with girls and we get involved in things like educating each other as girls. It helps give them skills when it comes to the fact that they have to now venture into the world, they have to learn how to coexist with a lot of different personalities. They also have to be self-empowered in the sense that they'll need to have um, self-esteem. Also involving guys in a sense that they need to know the things that we go through, and they need to know how to respect us, to give us the kind of dignity that we deserve as young girls. Basically been helping and facilitating roadshows, workshops and discussions in regards to different topics like gender-based violence, self-esteem issues and xenophobia. MBEM is really assisting the girl child um, understand, one, what it means to have sex, what it means to protect yourselves um, while having sex, what teenage pregnancy means and you know the consequences basically of having sex. Means I as an alumni in this particular program, you know, I'm there to help the girl child um, understand what their body is going through, understand the changes that they're going through um, in their lives and some of the challenges that they will experience and how I can facilitate, um, you know, the the change that they're going through. Some girls they don't have sanitary pads, so Jambem is there as a platform to give them that support they need. The program has been able to achieve um, success in the sense that it has allowed girls to have a voice in society, to talk about the things that really bother them, to, to talk about equality, to talk about access. COVID-19 has affected Jambem because of students were no longer going to school and there were less engagement. We have had to find ways to still get the program running in this new normal that we have and that has become possible with the help of social media so we have had to create groups on social medias like Facebook and WhatsApp groups where the learners still get a chance to come and come and discuss different situations, how they're also dealing with COVID-19, what it is and how they can also help protect themselves, their families and their communities. A huge thank you to our sponsors and donors for the support you keep giving us for we know that we wouldn't be where we are and we wouldn't be able to help us and go and facilitate and give the support we can to the young girls out there. Thank you, thank you so much.